Делай ноги. С приходом холодов, следуя древней традиции императорских пингвинов, матери отправляются на глубоководье ловить рыбу, а отцы остаются на берегу и ухаживают за яйцами, пережидая долгую и темную зиму, и надеясь, что за этот труд судьба вознаградит их появлением птенцов. Но не всякая новая жизнь зарождается одинаково. Мемфис, все в порядке? Не знаю, я ничего не слышу. Оно пустое? Постой, а вот теперь я слышу. Я тоже. Давай, малыш, вылезай оттуда. Я знаю, ты справишься. Вылезай. Мамбл, 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 мамбл. Эй, а ну вернись. Стой, малыш, ты куда? Колени немного дрожат, Майфис. Только и всего. Холодно. Все будет хорошо. Главное твердо стоять на лапах. А вот и твоя мама. Поздоровайся с мамой, приятель. Привет, мама. Как рыбалка? О, Мэнфис, он просто чудо. А что я тебе говорил насчет лап? Папа, они счастливы. Мамбл, плавание – любимое занятие всех пингвинов. Но, мама, я ведь не умею плавать. Не бойся, Мамбл. Я тебя научу. Молодец, Мамбл. А теперь задача немного посложнее. Ой-ой-ой, мама, сейчас мне придется не сладко? Вовсе нет, Мамбл. Видишь это сердце? Плыви за мной и постарайся поймать таких как можно больше. Ладно, мама, давай. Нам пора в школу, Мамбл. Мисс Вайола ждет. Она научит нас петь мелодию нашей души. А что такое мелодия души? Айда со мной вниз, там и узнаешь. Доброе утро, класс! Чтобы подготовиться к сегодняшнему уроку, вам нужно собрать максимальное количество нот. Давай, Мамбл, поехали! Вы отлично поработали и собрали достаточно нот для самого важного урока в начальной пингвиньей школе. Кто-нибудь знает, что мы будем изучать? Глория? Мелодию нашей души, мисс. Голос, который мы слышим внутри. Наше истинное «Я». Да, блестяще, Глория. Тот, кто не знает мелодии своей души, не может быть настоящим пингвином. Мамбл, попробуй-ка. Ну хорошо. Мой дорогой, неужели это ты услышал в своей душе? Это не песня, это... Я даже не знаю, что это такое. О, -о, -о. Прости, Мамбл, но мне кажется, я не смогу тебе помочь. Если кто и сможет, то только миссис Астрахани. Не волнуйся, малыш, миссис Астрахань поможет тебе с пением. Верно, Мамбл. Миссис Астрахань лучшая учительница пения во всем... Не умеешь петь? Не умеешь петь? Ерунда! Я хочу услышать, как поет молодежь. Тишина! Это не пение! Таким воплем лучше всего вызывать лавины! Быстрее! Быстрее в воду! Охладить горло! А мне нужно присесть! Делай, что она говорит, малыш, окунись! Это может пойти на пользу твоим связкам! Отличный получился заплыв, малыш! Значит, я готов еще раз попробовать спеть свою мелодию души? Ну и... как твой голос? <звы> Потренируйся-ка немного самостоятельно.
С этой мелодией души все намного труднее, чем я думал. И если бы я только смог услышать тот голос, который должен звучать у меня внутри и о котором говорила Глория. Ой-ой-ой! Вот это точно! Пора пообедать, Лосташлеп! Постой! А что это за... за штуку у тебя на лапе? Раз уж ты задал такой серьезный вопрос, схожу. Есть там кое-что. Существа, не такие, как мы. Они больше, злее, умнее. Минуточку. Думал заболтать меня, Лосташлеп? Вот только с пришельцами у меня свидание не раньше обеда. Мамбл был не похож на других. Он выделялся из толпы, а это ее всегда раздражает. Поэтому с самого детства он по большей части был в одиночестве. Почему они не разрешают тебе закончить школу вместе с нами, Мамбл? Так нечестно. Ты же никому не причинил вреда. Старейшины говорят совсем другое. Да забудь ты о них, что они понимают? Идем, мамал, давай развлечемся. Сегодня отличный денек для хорошей гонки. Кто последний, тот противный старик. Эй, мамбл, пойдем к нашим, попробуем половить рыбку. В наше время в этих водах плавает не так уж много рыбы. Придется переходить на креветок. Креветки? Фу! Ну да, море криля. Кто первым наберет 30, тот и победит. Давай! Я не думаю, что это наше наказание. Мне кажется, кто-то вылавливает всю нашу рыбу. Что вы там увидели? Я не знаю, но, похоже, осталась еще одна. Смотрите. Я поймаю. Быстрее, Мамбл, хватай! Молодец! У меня не было сомнений, что ты справишься. Да, молодец, Ласташлеп. Боско остащил нашу рыбу. Осторожно, Мамбл, он опасен. Следуй за перьями. Мамбл, ты в порядке? Возьми рыбу. Мамбл, это было просто изумительно. Ну, думаю, танцевать у тебя получается еще лучше. Да, я, я знаю. Ты можешь слушать других, ведь так? Да, верно. Все, ребята, хватит! Глория! Ребята! А -а -а! Девять и восемь! Я дам тебе десятку! Браво, браво! Эй, великан! Ты клево двигался! Ой, спасибо. Как тебя зовут, пушистик? Мамбл, рад познакомиться. Эй, длинный, давай с нами, мы идем кататься. Супер спуск. Давай посмотрим, как у тебя получится спуститься с холма. Эй, великан, а какие еще классные движения ты знаешь? Смотри. Я еще никогда не видел таких танцев. Длинный, ты просто бумба! 
Эй, великан, а ты не хочешь еще немного подвигаться и помочь нам собрать камни любви? Камни любви? Что еще за камни любви? Так мы и завоевываем сердца дам. Чем больше у тебя камней, тем выше твои шансы у дам. Конечно, помогу. И несмотря на смену времен года и верных амигос, которые были рядом, не проходило и дня, чтобы Мамбл не думал о том, что он оставил в прошлом и что ждет его впереди. Эй, Крепыш, а ты никогда не скучаешь по своему старому дому? Ой, ну зачем ты ему напомнил? Ты же знаешь, от разговоров о старом доме у него тут же портится настроение. А давай-ка забудем обо всех неприятностях и как следует повеселимся. Давай, длинный, на перегонки. Значит, ты великий танцор и великий мастер по заскольжению. По-моему, это нечестно, а, ребята? Да, так нечестно. Без сомнения, твоего таланта ни на одного пингвина хватит. Эй, пушистик, это был настоящий пингвиний экстрим. Эй, ребята, поплавать не хотите? Без вопросов. Вперед! Что это? Эй, длинный, я думаю, нам пора. Да, давайте не совать нос туда, где ему не место. Но я думаю, эта штука имеет отношение к пришельцам. Молодец, Амиго. Но теперь мы от таких штук будем держаться подальше. Нет, мы должны выяснить, что это было. Это штука пришельцев. Нам нужны ответы. И больше туда не возвращайся. Если ты хочешь получить ответы на свои вопросы, отправляйся к Лавиласу. Да, Лавиласу. Он ответит на вопросы. Конечно, нам нужно набрать камней. Верно, чтобы Лавилас дал ответы, ему нужны камни любви. Эй, пушистик, ты готов собирать камни? Нет камней, нет ответов Лавиласа. Да, я хочу получить ответы на свои вопросы. Идем. И вот они в конце концов пришли ко мне. В поисках мудрости, совета и понимания. Однажды я видел поморника, у которого на лапе было нечто подобное. Он сказал, что это от пришельцев, которые его связали и стали исследовать. Это, друг мой, священный талисман, данный мне загадочными существами, во времена моего эпического путешествия к запретному берегу. Ты говоришь, загадочные существа? А глаза у них смотрели вперед? Они тебя исследовали? Связывали? Довольно. Слишком много вопросов. А вот камушков у тебя маловато, дурачок. Но я не получил ответа ни на один свой вопрос. Я заявляю официально. Лавиласа никто и никогда, никогда не изучал. Не так уж он и помог. Еще как помог. Теперь я знаю, где искать пришельцев, которые забирают всю рыбу. Мне нужно вернуться домой и рассказать всем. Приятно снова с тобой встретиться, Мамбл. Давно не виделись. Еще бы. Так ты смог найти мелодию своей души? Может, ты скажешь? Что ты делаешь, Мамбл? Давай, Глория, ты слышишь ритм, пой! Мамбу, это было чудесно. Прекратите! Прекратите это безобразие! От этого топота все наши неприятности! Рыба исчезает не из-за меня. Это все пришельцы, те, которые приходят к запретному берегу. Хватит болтать всякие глупости! Это правда! Ты смеешь бросить вызов мне, старейшине нашего племени? Я говорю правду. Так оно всегда и бывает. Несогласие ведет к расколу, раскол к гибели. 
тебе придется немедленно покинуть наши места. Мамбл, ты не должен уходить. Нет, Глория, должен. Куда ты пойдешь? Попрошу Лавиласа отвезти меня к запретному берегу. Мне нужно поговорить с пришельцами. Мы не можем отпустить Амига одного. Верно, верно. Если получится, мы тоже сможем устроить веселье. Да, так поступают Амигос. Давай к подножи холма. Быстрее, Мамбл. Надо быстрее найти Лавиласа. Отличный заезд длинный. Ты скользил, как крутой пингвино. А что случилось с Лавиласом? А выглядит он неважно. И почему он молчит? Эй, Лавилас, ты в порядке? Он задыхается. Эта штука у него на шее, талисман. Он слишком тугой и не дает ему дышать. Да, крепко сидит. Да, даже не шевелится. Загадочные существа. Что? Где? Загадочные существа дали ему эту штуку, и они же могут ее снять. Лавилас, ты должен отвести нас к запретному берегу. По-моему, мы ни капельки не продвинулись на пути к тому месту, куда нам нужно. Да, великан. Похоже, мы застряли на этой глыбе льда, которая плывет в никуда. Просто верьте мне. Он говорит, что ему можно верить. Будто он знает, куда направляется. Да, мы сделали это вместе. Ладно, в какой стороне запретный берег? Я, конечно, могу ошибаться, но, по-моему, нам предстоит прокатиться, Амигос. Да, повтори-ка еще разок. Знаешь, как говорят, если уж приходится скользить по холму, делать это нужно с удовольствием. Кто это говорит? Я. Давай на перегонки. Ладно, если никто ничего сказать не хочет, скажу я. Мы заблудились. О, ты всегда такой негативный. Не будь таким негативным. Так что, великан, мы заблудились? Пока рядом с нами Лавилас, мы не потеряемся. Куда теперь Лавилас? Вода! О да, я вижу, мы в отличной форме. Шевелитесь, он же сказал в воду. Отлично. Все согрелись и готовы идти дальше. Что ты здесь делаешь? Я с тобой. Нет, здесь слишком опасно. Возвращайся домой. Здесь тебе не место. Но мы должны быть вместе. У нас получается прекрасная музыка. Красивую музыку я могу создавать и без твоей помощи. Да, конечно, я понимаю. Он прогнал ее своим танцем! И наше путешествие по замерзшим просторам продолжилось. Руководствуясь зрением, слухом и обонянием, мы нашли путь. Привет. Мы ищем пришельцев. Вы их не видели? Наверное, мы могли бы сказать, где их искать. Только у нас от голода голова не варит. Да! У нас от голода голова не варит. Понятно. Чем мы можем помочь? Едой. Чем же еще? Да, едой, конечно. Чем же еще? Принеси нам достаточно кальмаров, и мы скажем, где искать пришельцев. Да, неси кальмаров, и мы тебе все скажем. А что мы должны им сказать? Прекрасно. Я скоро вернусь и принесу достаточно кальмаров, чтобы наполнить их брюх. Блестяще! Отправляйся на восток, к запретному берегу. Увидишь уничтожителя, что вытаскивает рыбу? Следуй за ним! Ой, у меня от этого душа в пятки уходит. 
Вперед, ребята, мы прошли такой путь. До запретного берега осталось совсем немного. Мы не должны сдаваться. Посмотри, сколько всего оставили пришельцы. По этим следам ты их точно найдешь. Похоже, эти увольни вывели нас правильно. Я даже не знаю, что может быть хуже, чем потеряться в этих местах. Хуже только найти то, что мы ищем. Все же лучше, чем если тебя съест касатка. Пингвинов не подаем. Талисман! Он пропал! Я свободен! Вот так и закончилось мое путешествие. Его же только началось. Именно тогда он лицом к лицу встретился с той тайной, что увела его в края отдаленные, чужие, запретные. Стойте! Давайте поговорим! Поговорим о нашей рыбе! Вы забираете у нас всю рыбу! Амиго, идем! Они тебя ни за что не услышат! Я сделаю так, что они меня услышат! Эй, приятель, ты куда? Я должен его поймать! Сумасшедший, не делай этого! Ты сделал все, что было в пингвиньих силах! Не прыгай! Он прыгнул! Наверняка сюда идет и еще один. Я подожду. Подожду здесь, пока он. Ледяной бродяга 3 вызывает базу. Кажется, мы нашли еще одного, ему нужна помощь. Именно с того момента, когда он лежал, обессиленный, боясь самого страшного, все навсегда изменилось. Хотя было вовсе не очевидно, что все изменилось к лучшему. Пусть его окружали друзья, он был так далеко от дома. Простите, что это за место? А земля императорских пингвинов отсюда далеко? Это может быть там, где ты захочешь. Попробуй воду, она настоящая. Дальше некуда. Там он повстречал существ, о присутствии которых мог только догадываться. Существ со смотрящими вперед глазами, ремешками и зондами. Эти пришельцы напоминали зыбкие привидения. И Мамбл поначалу неохотно, но в конце концов все же принял их странные правила. И вдруг он услышал ритм. И сердце его забилось в унисон этому ритму, и в нем вновь проснулась мелодия его души. И Мамбл снова затанцевал. Нужно выяснить, откуда этот малыш, и есть ли еще такие, как он. После долгого путешествия обратно домой он был готов рассказать всем императорским пингвинам о том, чему он научился. Он нес новость, которая, по его мнению, должна была спасти его народ. Нужно возвращаться и как можно быстрее. Эй! Я нашел пришельцев! Нонсенс! Их не существует! Существуют! Я привел их сюда, чтобы они нам помогли. Нужно привлечь их внимание танцами, и тогда они перестанут вылавливать нашу рыбу. Да они с самого начала здесь из-за тебя, вероломный клупец! Теперь мы обречены! Постой! А кто только что сказал, что пришельцев не существует? А может, мам был прав? Нечего терять! Эй, Мамбл, покажи-ка еще разок, как ты это делаешь своими лапками. Это просто. Делайте, как я.
In the ancient tradition of the Emperor Penguins, as winter descends, the mothers leave home to search for fish in the deep waters, while the fathers tend their eggs, enduring the long, dark season, and hoping for success come hatching time. But not all new life springs forth in quite exactly the same way. Memphis? Is everything okay? I don't know. I can't hear anything. Is it empty? Wait, I hear something. I hear it too. Come on, little one. Break on out of there. I know you can do it. Come on out. Okay, amigo. I know you can dance, but a little practice never hurts, you know? When you dance, you want to hold the controller like this, like you're waving a stick, you know? First, let's try moving up in time with the beat. When the arrows move to the top of the screen, try to flick the controller upwards when they match up with the arrow up top, okay? All right! You definitely got them up moves going down, you know? Okay, we know the chicas dig it when you move to the right, so let's give that one a try now. Same as before, but this time, flick the controller to the right as the arrows match up. Oh man, the chica's gonna love you if you keep moving like that. I know I don't need to tell you this, but it really helps if you listen to the beat and time your moves to it. When you're moving fast and really getting down, that is the real secret to dancing as good as I know you can. Let's try a step to the left now. Do you know how it's done? Just shake it, baby. Okay, this last one is the toughest, man. But I know you can do it. We're going to get down like never before. Same as the rest. Flick the controller down in time with the arrows and the rhythm. Oh, man, I can't teach you nothing. You definitely got the moves, amigo, and ain't no one going to say otherwise. Here comes your mama. Say hi to your mama, boy. Hi, mama. I was fished in. Oh, Memphis, he's gorgeous. Boy, what I tell you about them feet? I'm just being happy, Pa. Swimming, Mumbo. It's what penguins do. But I don't know how to swim, Mama. Don't worry, Mumbo. I'll teach you. Hola, amigo. First, I is going to explain to you how to hold the controller. It's not so easy with flippers. So a little practice doesn't hurt. You want to be holding it sideways, like this, see? Ain't that comfy? You feel the power? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, it looks like you gotta do some swimming. I know you can do this, but let's go over how. You know, just in case. The first thing to know about swimming is how not to sink like a love stone. So if you want to surface, just lean back on the controller like this. If you're crazy and you want to go down, then you just pitch forward on the control like this. If you want to swim left and right, you just roll the controller to the left and right. You got it? Good. Give it a go and don't forget your amigo when you're a big star. Hey, where are you going? Good job, Mumbo. Now for something a bit more complicated. Uh, uh, am I in trouble, Mom? Far from it, Mumbo. You see this heart? Follow me in the water and try to catch as many as possible. Okay, Ma, let's go! Outstanding, Mumble. You are one fine swimmer, just like your father. We better get to school, Mumble. Miss Fiora is waiting. She's going to teach us all about our heart songs. What's a heart song? Race me to the bottom and you'll find out. Okay, amigo. We're going to go over how to slide down the hill on your belly. Let me tell you something. It's real easy like. If you want to turn left, roll the controller to the left like this. If you want to turn right, roll the controller to the right. 
If you want to jump, just press the button and you jump! For when you really want to show off to the chicas, you can do tricks while in the air by holding down this button and rolling or pitching the controller in whatever direction you like. They really love it when you do that, huh? The only way to practice this one is to give it a try. So off you go and don't let no one slow you down. You did it, you finished. We did it. Come on, Mambo. Miss Viola is waiting. Good morning, class. In preparation for our lesson today, you must first collect as many song notes as you can. Come on, Mumbo, let's go! Great job, class! You've collected enough notes to begin the most important lesson you will ever learn at Penguin Elementary. Does anyone know what that is? Gloria? It's our harp song, miss. It's the voice you hear inside, who you truly are. Yes, excellent, Gloria. Without our heart song, we can't be truly Penguin. Mumble, why don't you give it a try? Okay. Mine's like, uh... <laughs> My dear! You heard that in there? Oh, that is not a heart song. That is... well, I don't even know what that is. Oh. I'm sorry, Mumble, but I don't think I'm going to be able to help you. But if anyone can, Mrs. Astrakhan can. Don't worry, boy. Mrs. A can help you with your singing. That's right, Mumble. Mrs. Astrakhan is the finest voice teacher in all of the... Can't sing? Can't sing? Rubbish! Let me hear this young one sing. <laughs> That is not singing! That is for starting the avalanche! Off! Hop into the water to cool the throat! I need to see it. Do like she says, boy. Go for a dip. It might do those pipes some good. Now some great swimming, boy. So, am I ready to try my art song again? Well, uh... How's your voice feeling? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, let's say you go practice on your own for a bit. This heart song stuff is tougher than I thought. If I could only find the voice you hear inside that Gloria was talking about. Uh-oh. That's right. Time for lunch, Flipper boy Oh, wait. What's that? The, the thing around your leg. Well, since you ask such a perceptive question, I'll tell you. There's something out there. Creatures not like us. Bigger, fiercer, smarter. Hey, wait a minute. Nice try, Flipper boy but my alien encounter is gonna have to wait till after lunch. Because Mumble was different, he stood out from the crowd, which always makes some folks in the crowd uncomfortable. So as he grew from childhood, he did so, for the most part, alone. What do they mean you're not allowed to graduate with us, Mumble? It's not fair. It's not like you're hurting anyone. That's not what the elders are saying. Forget about them. What do they know? Come on, Mumba. Let's have some fun. It's a great day for a race. Last one down's a rotten elder. Oh, great. 
great race, Mumble! Hey, Mumble, let's go join the rest of the class and try and catch some fish. There's not too many fish swimming around these waters these days. We'll have to make it shrimp instead. Ah, shrimp? Blech. I know, I know, but it'll be fun. Come on, see how many you can get. You're on. Wow, Mumble. <laughs> that was some great fishing. I mean, <laughs> shrimping. I don't think we're being punished at all. I think there's something out there that's taking all the fish. What are you guys looking at? Well, whatever it is, looks like there may be one left. Look! I'll catch it! <gasps> Hurry, Mumble! Go get him! Ah, oh, great job! I knew you could do it, Mumble. Oh yeah, great job, Flipper Boyd! That skua stole our fish. Careful, Mumble, he's dangerous. Mumble, are you okay? Take the fish. Mumble, that was just amazing! <laughs> but I think you better stick to dancing. Yeah, I know. You listen, you know? Yeah, right. Okay, fellas. <laughs> Cut it out. Gloria? Guys? I give you a one to two, ten. Bravo! Bravo! Hey, tall boy, those were some smooth moves. Oh, gee, thanks. What's your name, Fluffy? Mumble. Good to meet you. Hey, Stretch, come along with us. We're going sledding. Yeah, local sledding. Let's see you work those moves down the hill. Tall boy, you're a superstar for sure. Yeah, that was some local sledding. Hey, tall boy, what other cool moves you got? Watch this. Man, I've never seen dancing like that before. Stretch you to Pamba. Hey, tall boy, how about you use those smooth moves to help us collect some love stones? Love stones? What are love stones? It's how we win the hearts of the ladies. The more stones you got, the better your chances with the ladies. Sure, I'll help. Great work with the love stones, doll boy. Gimme fin, gimme fin. And although a season passed and Mumble had his trusty amigos, not a single day went by when he didn't think of what he left behind. And what may lie ahead. Hey, big guy, you ever miss your old home? Oh man, you had to go remind him, huh? You know that always bums him out talking about his old home. How about we forget about all that depressing stuff and have some fun? Come on, Strange, let's race! So you like a great dancer and a great sledder? <laughs> that just don't seem fair, huh, fellas? 
Nope, unfair. Absolutely! You have too much talent for one penguino! Hey, Fluffy! That was loco extreme! Hey, man, you guys wanna go for a swim or something? Absolutely! Let's go! What's that? Hey, a stretch. I think we better get going. Yeah, let's not be poking around where we don't belong. But I, I think this thing has to do with the aliens. Nice job, amigo. But we're staying away from that thing from now on. No, no, we need to find out what that, that alien thing was. We need some answers. No, hey, don't go back there! If you need answers, you go talk to Lovelace. Yeah, Lovelace, the answer guy. Cause we're gonna need to get us some stones. That's right, Lovelace don't answer nothing unless he gets his stones. Hey, Fluffy, you ready to collect some more stones? No stones, no answers from Lovelace. Yes, I need answers. Let's go. And so it was, they finally came my way. Seeking wisdom, guidance, and insight. I once saw something like that around a skua's leg. He said he got it from the aliens, and they strapped him down and probed him. Is that what happened to you? This, friend, is my sacred talisman, bestowed on me by the mystic beings during my epic journey of enlightenment to the Forbidden Shore. So, you saw mystic beings? Did they have frontways eyes? Did they probe you, tie you up, strap you down? Enough! Too many questions. You don't have enough pebbles, fool. But you haven't answered any of my questions. And for the record, let it be known that Lovelace has never, ever been probed. He wasn't so helpful. Well, yes, he was. Now I know where to find the aliens. The ones that are taking all the fish. I gotta go home and tell everyone. It's good to see you, Mumble. It's been a long time. It sure has. Did you ever find your heart song? Maybe. You tell me. What are you doing, Mumble? Come on, Gloria. Sing along to the beat. <laughs> Mumble, that was, well, wonderful. Stop, stop, stop this unruly nonsense! This pagan stomping is the cause of all our troubles! I'm not the one causing the fish to go away. It's the aliens. The ones beyond the Forbidden Shore. Cease your nonsensical nattering. It's the truth. You dare challenge me, an elder of this nation? But I'm telling the truth. And so it follows. Descent leads to division, and division to doom. You must leave this place at once. Mumble, you don't need to go. Yes, Gloria. I do. Where are you going? To ask Lovelace to take me to the Forbidden Shore. I need to talk to the aliens. We can't let our amigo go off all by his lonely lonesome. True, true. We might as well make it a party if we can. Yeah! <laughs> it's the amigo way! Way to the bottom of the hill! Come on, amigo! Let's hurry and find Lovelace! Oh, nice run, Stretch! Some real local sledding! What's wrong with Lovelace? Oh, man, he don't look too good. And why is he not talking? Hey, Lovelace, you okay? He's choking! That thing around his neck, the talisman, it's too tight. It's cutting off his air. Man, this thing is all for good! Yeah, it ain't budging. The mystic beings. <laughs> Say what? Say who? Don't they? The mystic beings. They gave him this thing. They can take it off. Lovelace, you've got to take us to the Forbidden Shore. 
have to ask me. I'm not getting any closer to where we need to be going. Uh, yeah, tall boy. It looks like we're, uh, you know, stuck out here on an ice block floating to nowhere. Just trust me. Trust him, he says. Yeah, like he knows where he's going. Man, we all turned around. Yeah, which way is it to the Forbidden Shore anyway? I'll take a wild step and say it looks like we're headed downhill, amigos. Man, you could say that again. Well, you know what they say. If you're going downhill, might as well have some fun doing it! Who says that? I do! Let's race! Okay, if nobody wants to say it, I will. Man, we're lost! Stop being so negative, man. You're always too negative. So, tall boy, we lost? As long as we've got Lovelace by our side, we're not lost. Which way, Lovelace? And, uh, oh. Water. Oh, yeah. I can see we in great shape here. Come on. You heard him. Into the water. All right. All warmed up and ready to go. Gloria, what are you doing here? Well, I'm coming with you. No, it's too dangerous out here. Go home, back where you belong. But we belong together. We make beautiful music. I can make beautiful music by myself. Okay, Mumble, you proved your point. Goodbye. Wow, that was local. See, si, see, si. he's driving her away by dancing. Our journey continued through the frozen frontiers, guided by the sights, the sounds, and the smells. We found our way. Uh, hi there. We're looking for aliens. Have you seen them? I suppose we could tell you where to find them, but we're too hungry to think. Yeah, we're too hungry to think. I see. Well, how can we help? Food, what else? Yeah, with food, what else? You'll bring us back enough squid, and we'll tell you exactly where to find them aliens. Yeah, go get us squid, we'll tell you. What we tell them again? Fine, I'll be back with enough squid to fill those bellies. Excellent work. Go east to the Forbidden Shore. When you see the Annihilator, the one taking away all the fish, follow it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I believe I'm getting cold feet about this. Come on, guys. We've made it this far, and we're almost at the Forbidden Shore. We can't give up now. Look at all the things the aliens left behind. I bet you can follow them straight to the aliens. <laughs> Truly the happy place! No. It's the Forbidden Shore. The Forbidden Shore! I guess those blubberheads steered us in the right direction. Yeah, I can't think of anything worse than getting lost out here. Except fighting this place. Oh yeah? Well, how about getting eaten by an orca? The talisman, it's gone! I'm free! And so, my journey was complete. His journey, however, had only begun. As it was then, he saw the thing that would lead him to a place more distant, more foreign, more forbidden than any he had ever known. Stop! We need to talk! 
It's about the fish! You're taking all of our fish! Amigo, let it go. They'll never hear you. I'll make them hear me. Hey man, where'd you go in? I've got to catch it. Loco, don't do it. You've done all that? He's being weenly possible. Don't jump! He jumped. But it wasn't apparent that all had changed for the better, as he found himself in a place that was familiar, yet far, far from home. Uh, excuse me. What is this place? Is it anywhere near Emperor Land? It's wherever you want it to be. Try the water. It's really real. Uh, it was a place where he encountered beings which his mind had only hinted at. Beings with frontways eyes and straps and probes. Hazy apparitions these aliens were. And Mumble, at first reluctant, eventually gave in to their strange ways. But then, something found him. Tapped into the beating thing at his core. The thing that made him who he was. And Mumble danced once more. We need to find out where this little guy is from. See if there's any more like him. And thus, after a long journey home, he was ready to tell the emperors all he had learned, and to bring with him the news that he believed would save his nation. I gotta get back as fast as I can. Hello. I found the aliens. Nonsense! There be no such thing. Yes, there is such a thing. And I brought them here to help us out. All we've got to do to get their attention is dance. And they'll stop taking our fish. You brought them here, you traitorous fool. It will be our ruin. But wait a second. You just said there was no such thing as aliens. He might be onto something. Nothing to lose. Hey, Mumble, how does that feed thing go again? It's easy. Just follow along. And so they came, these alien things, from far and wide and well beyond. And the waters were filled again with fish. And this once great nation was great once more. A nation Mumble had placed upon the cosmic map by staying strong and true to the beating thing within him.
Все, ребята, хватит! Глория? Ребята? А -а -а! In the ancient tradition of the Emperor Penguins, as winter descends, the mothers leave home to search for fish in the deep waters, while the fathers tend their eggs. Enduring the long, dark season, and hoping for success come hatching time. But not all new life springs forth in quite exactly the same way. Memphis, is everything okay? I don't know. I can't hear anything. Is it empty? Wait, I hear something. Come on, little one. Break on out of there. I know you can do it. Come on out. Mambo! Mambo! <laughs> hey, come back here! Whoa, little buddy. Where are you off to? It's just a little wobbly in the knees, Memphis. Well, that's all. Weezy. You'll, uh, be fine. You just need to get your penguin feet, that's all. Here comes your mama. Say hi to your mama, boy. Hi, mama. I was fishing. Oh, Memphis, he's gorgeous. Boy, what I tell you about them feet? I'm just being happy, Pa. Swimming, Mumble. It's what penguins do. But I don't know how to swim, Mama. Don't worry, Mumble. I'll teach you. Good job, Mumble. Now for something a bit more complicated. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble, Ma? Far from it, Mumble. You see this heart? Follow me in the water and try to catch as many as possible. Okay, Ma, let's go! Outstanding, Mumble. You are one fine swimmer, just like your father. We better get to school, Mumble. Miss Fiora is waiting. She's going to teach us all about our heart songs. What's a heart song? Race me to the bottom and you'll find out. 
You did it! You finished! We did it! Come on, Mambo! Miss Viola is waiting! Good morning, class! In preparation for our lesson today, you must first collect as many song notes as you can. Come on, Mambo! Let's go! Great job, class! You've collected enough notes to begin the most important lesson you will ever learn at Penguin Elementary. Does anyone know what that is? Gloria? It's our heart song, miss. It's the voice you hear inside, who you truly are. Yes, excellent, Gloria. Without our heart song, we can't be truly Penguin. Mumble, why don't you give it a try? Okay. Mine's like, uh... La, la, la. <laughs> My dear, you heard that in there? Oh, that is not a heart song. That is, well, I don't even know what that is. Oh. I'm sorry, Mumble, but I don't think I'm going to be able to help you. But if anyone can, Mrs. Astrakhan can. Don't worry, boy. Mrs. A can help you with your singing. That's right, Mumble. Mrs. Astrakhan is the finest voice teacher in all of the... Can't sing? Can't sing? Rubbish! Let me hear this young one sing. <laughs> Silence! That is not singing. That is for starting the avalanche. Off! Off into the water to cool the throat. I need to see it. Do like she says, boy. Go for a dip. It might do those pipes some good. That was some great swimming, boy. So, am I ready to try my heart song again? Well, uh, how's your voice feeling? <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's say you go practice on your own for a bit. <laughs> this heart song stuff is tougher than I thought. If I could only find the voice you hear inside that Gloria was talking about. Uh-oh. That's right. Time for lunch, Flipper boy Wait, what's that? The, the thing around your leg? Well, since you ask such a perceptive question, I'll tell you. There's something out there. Creatures not like us. Bigger, fiercer, smarter. Hey, wait a minute. Nice try, Flipper boy but my alien encounter is gonna have to wait till after lunch. Because Mumble was different, he stood out from the crowd, which always makes some folks in the crowd uncomfortable. So as he grew from childhood, he did so, for the most part, alone. What do they mean you're not allowed to graduate with us, Mumble? It's not fair. It's not like you're hurting anyone. That's not what the elders are saying. Forget about them. What do they know? Come on, Mumba, let's have some fun. It's a great day for a race. Last one down's a rotten elder. A oh, great race, Mumble. Hey, Mumble, let's go join the rest of the class and try and catch some fish. Well, there's not too many fish swimming around these waters these days. We'll have to make it shrimp instead. Ah, shrimp. Blech. I know, I know, but it'll be fun. 
Come on, see how many you can get. You're on. I don't think we're being punished at all. I think there's something out there that's taking all the fish. What are you guys looking at? Well, whatever it is, looks like there may be one left. Look! I'll catch it! <gasps> Hurry, Mumble, go get him! Ah, oh, great job! I knew you could do it, Mumble. Oh, yeah, great job, Flipper Boyd. That skua stole our fish. Careful, Mumble, he's dangerous. Follow those feathers. Mumble, are you okay? Take the fish. Hey, Gloria! Watch this! Mumble, that was just amazing! <laughs> but I think you better stick to dancing. Yeah, I know. You listen, you know? Yeah, right. Okay, fellas. <laughs> Cut it out. Gloria? Guys? I give you a one, two, three, ten. Bravo, bravo! Hey, Tollboy, those were some smooth moves. Oh, gee, thanks. What's your name, Fluffy? Mumble. Good to meet you. Hey, Stretch, come along with us. We're going sledding. Yeah, local sledding. Let's see you work those moves down the hill. Tollboy, you're a superstar for sure. Yeah, that was some local sledding. Hey, tall boy, what other cool moves you got? Watch this. Man, check out the feet. Man, I've never seen dancing like that before. Stretch you to Pamba. Hey, tall boy, how about you use those smooth moves to help us collect some love stones? Love stones? What are love stones? It's how we win the hearts of the ladies. The more stones you got, the better your chances with the ladies. Sure, I'll help. Great work with the love stones, tall boy. Give me fin, give me fin. And although a season passed and Mumble had his trusty amigos, not a single day went by 
when he didn't think of what he'd left behind and what may lie ahead. Hey, big guy, you ever miss your old home? Oh, man, you had to go remind him, huh? You know that always bums him out, talking about his old home. How about we forget about all that depressing stuff and have some fun? Come on, Stretch, let's race! So you like a great dancer and a great sledder? <laughs> that just don't seem fair, huh, fellas? Nope, unfair. Absolutely! You have too much talent for one penguino! Hey, Fluffy! That was loco extreme! Hey, man, you guys wanna go for a swim or something? Absolutely! Let's go! What's that? Hey, Stretch, I think we better get going. Yeah, let's not be poking around where we don't belong. But I, I think this thing has to do with the aliens. Nice job, amigo, but we're staying away from that thing from now on. No, no, we need to find out what that, that alien thing was. We need some answers. No, hey, don't go back there. If you need answers, you go talk to Lovelace. Yeah, Lovelace, the answer guy. Cause we're gonna need to get us some stones. That's right, Lovelace don't answer nothing unless he gets his stones. Hey, Fluffy, you ready to collect some more stones? No stones, no answers from Lovelace. Yes, I need answers. Let's go. And so it was, they finally came my way, seeking wisdom, guidance, and insight. I once saw something like that around a skua's leg. He said he got it from the aliens, and they strapped him down and probed him. Is that what happened to you? This, friend, is my sacred talisman, bestowed on me by the mystic beings during my epic journey of enlightenment to the Forbidden Shore. So you saw mystic beings? Did they have frontways eyes? Did they probe you, tie you up, strap you down? Enough! Too many questions. You don't have enough pebbles, fool. But you haven't answered any of my questions. And for the record, let it be known that Lovelace has never, ever been probed. He wasn't so helpful. Well, yes, he was. Now I know where to find the aliens. The ones that are taking all the fish. I gotta go home and tell everyone. It's good to see you, Mumble. It's been a long time. It sure has. Did you ever find your heart song? Maybe. You tell me. What are you doing, Mumble? Come on, Gloria. Sing along to the beat. Well, that was, well, wonderful. Stop, stop, stop this unruly nonsense! This pagan stomping is the cause of all our troubles! I'm not the one causing the fish to go away. It's the aliens, the ones beyond the Forbidden Shore. Cease your nonsensical nattering! It's the truth. You dare challenge me, an elder of this nation? But I'm telling the truth. And so it follows. Descent leads to division, and division to doom. You must leave this place at once. Mumble, you don't need to go. Yes, Gloria. I do. Where are you going? To ask Lovelace to take me to the Forbidden Shore. 
I need to talk to the aliens. We can't let our amigo go off all by his lonely lonesome. True, true. We might as well make it a party if we can. Yeah! <laughs> it's the amigo way! Race right to the bottom of the hill! Come on, amigo! Let's hurry and find Lovelace! Oh, nice run, Stretch! Some real local sledding! What's wrong with Lovelace? Oh, man, he don't look too good. And why is he not talking? Hey, Lovelace, you okay? He's choking! That thing around his neck, the talisman, it's too tight. It's cutting off his air. Man, this thing is all for gold. Yeah, it ain't budging. The mystic beings. <laughs> Say what? Say who? Don't they? The mystic beings. They gave him this thing. They can take it off. Lovelace, you've got to take us to the Forbidden Shore. If you're asking me, we're not getting any closer to where we need to be going. Uh, yeah, tall boy. It looks like we're, uh, you know, stuck out here on an ice block floating to nowhere. Just trust me. Trust him, he says. Yeah, like he knows where he's going. Man, we all turned around. Yeah, which way is it to the Forbidden Shore anyway? I'll take a wild step and say it looks like we're headed downhill, amigos. Man, you could say that again. Well, you know what they say. If you're going downhill, might as well have some fun doing it. Who says that? I do. Let's race. OK, if nobody wants to say it, I will. Man, we're lost. Stop being so negative, man. You're always too negative. So tall boy. We lost? As long as we've got Lovelace by our side, we're not lost. Which way, Lovelace? And, uh, <laughs> Water. Oh, yeah. I can see we in great shape here. Come on. You heard him. Into the water. All right. All warmed up and ready to go. Gloria, what are you doing here? Well, I'm coming with you. No, it's too dangerous out here. Go home, back where you belong. But we belong together. We make beautiful music. I can make beautiful music by myself. Yeah, sure I get it. Okay, Mumble, you proved your point. Goodbye. Wow, that was local. See, si, see, si. he's driving her away by dancing. And our journey continued through the frozen frontiers, guided by the sights, the sounds, and the smells. We found our way. Uh, hi there. We're looking for aliens. Have you seen them? I suppose we could tell you where to find them, but we're too hungry to think. Yeah, we're too hungry to think. I see. Well, how can we help? Food, what else? Yeah, with food, what else? You'll bring us back enough squid, and we'll tell you exactly where to find them aliens. Yeah, go get us squid and we'll tell you. What we tell them again? Fine. I'll be back with enough squid to fill those bellies. Excellent work. Go east to the Forbidden Shore. When you see the Annihilator, the one taking away all the fish, follow it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I believe I'm getting cold feet about this. Come on, guys. We've made it this far, and we're almost at the Forbidden Shore. 
We can't give up now. Look at all the things the aliens left behind. I bet you can follow them straight to the aliens. Ha <laughs> Truly the happy place! No. It's the Forbidden Shore. The Forbidden Shore! I guess those blubberheads steer us in the right direction. Yeah, I can't think of anything worse than getting lost out here. Except fighting this place. Oh yeah? Well, how about getting eaten by an orca? The talisman, it's gone! I'm free! And so, my journey was complete. His journey, however, had only begun. As it was then, he saw the thing that would lead him to a place more distant, more foreign, more forbidden than any he had ever known. Stop! We need to talk! It's about the fish! You're taking all of our fish! Amigo, let it go. They'll never hear you. I'll make them hear me. Hey man, where'd you go in? I've got to catch it. Loco, don't do it. You've done all that? Is pinguinely possible. Don't jump! He jumped. There's gotta be another one on its way. I'll just wait, wait right here till... This is Ice Rome 3 to base. Looks like we found ourselves another one that needs some help. And it was at that point, as he lay there in his darkest hour, that everything changed forever. But it wasn't apparent that all had changed for the better, as he found himself in a place that was familiar, yet far, far from home. Uh, excuse me, what is this place? Is it anywhere near Emperor Land? It's wherever you want it to be. Try the water. It's really real. It was a place where he encountered beings which his mind had only hinted at. Beings with frontways eyes and scraps and probes. Hazy apparitions, these aliens were. And Mumble, at first reluctant, eventually gave in to their strange ways. But then, something found him. Tapped into the beating thing at his core. The thing that made him who he was. And Mumble danced. Once more. He's communicating with us. We tap, he answers. We need to find out where this little guy is from. See if there's any more like him. And thus, after a long journey home, he was ready to tell the emperors all he had learned and to bring with him the news that he believed would save his nation. I gotta get back as fast as I can. Hello. I found the aliens. Nonsense! There'll be no such thing. Yes, there is such a thing. And I brought them here to help us out. All we've got to do to get their attention is dance. And they'll stop taking our fish. You brought them here, you traitorous fool. It will be our ruin. 
But wait a second, you just said there was no such thing as aliens. He might be onto something. Nothing to lose. Hey, Mumbo, how does that feet thing go again? It's easy. Just follow along. I see. Well, how can we help? Food! What else? Yeah, with food. What else? You bring us back enough squid, and we'll tell you exactly where to find them aliens. Yeah, go get us squid and we'll tell you. What we tell them again? Fine. I'll be back with enough squid to fill those bellies. Excellent work. Go east to the Forbidden Shore. When you see the Annihilator, the one taking away all the fish, follow it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I believe I'm getting cold feet about this. Come on, guys. We've made it this far, and we're almost at the Forbidden Shore. We can't give up now. Look at all the things the aliens left behind. I bet you can follow them straight to the aliens. Truly the happy place! No. It's the Forbidden Shore. The Forbidden Shore! I guess those blubberheads steer us in the right direction. Yeah, I can't think of anything worse than getting lost out here. Except fighting this place. Oh yeah? Well, how about getting eaten by an orca? The talisman, it's gone! I'm free! And so, my journey was complete. His journey, however, had only begun. As it was then, he saw the thing that would lead him to a place more distant, more foreign, more forbidden than any he had ever known. Stop! We need to talk! It's about the fish! You're taking all of our fish! Amigo, let it go. I'll never hear you. I'll make them hear me. Hey man, where'd you go in? I've got to catch it. Loco, don't do it. You've done all that? He's being weenly possible. Don't jump! He jumped. But it wasn't apparent that all had changed for the better, as he found himself in a place that was familiar, yet far, far from home. Uh, excuse me, what is this place? Is it anywhere near Emperor Land? It's wherever you want it to be. Try the water. It's really real. It was a place where he encountered beings which his mind had only hinted at. Beings with frontways eyes and straps and probes. 
hazy apparitions these aliens were. And Mumble, at first reluctant, eventually gave in to their strange ways. But then, something found him. Tapped into the beating thing at his core. The thing that made him who he was. And Mumble danced once more. We need to find out where this little guy is from. See if there's any more like him. And thus, after a long journey home, he was ready to tell the emperors all he'd learned and to bring with him the news that he believed would save his nation. I gotta get back as fast as I can. Hello. I found the aliens. Nonsense! There'll be no such thing. Yes, there is such a thing. And I brought them here to help us out. All we've got to do to get their attention is dance. And they'll stop taking our fish. You brought them here, you traitorous fool. It will be our ruin. But wait a second. You just said there was no such thing as aliens. He might be onto something. Nothing to lose. Hey, Mumble, how does that feed thing go again? It's easy. Just follow along. And so they came, these alien things, from far and wide and well beyond. And the waters were filled again with fish. And this once great nation was great once more. A nation Mumble had placed upon the cosmic map by staying strong and true to the beating thing within him. Within all of them.